Benin City, the Edo State capital, was today enmeshed in flood after the heavy downpour that started at about 7.15 a.m. Areas such as Ibiwe Street in the city center and parts of Lagos Streets were submerged in flood. Worst hit this morning is the Uselu Lagos Uboa Road, leaving property and shop owners at risk. <laughs> President Muhammadu Buhari has written to the Senate to seek the approval for the appointment of Major General Farouk Yahaya as the new Chief of Army Staff. The request, which was contained in a letter, was read by Senate President Hamad Lawan in today's plenary. President Buhari urged the federal lawmakers to act quickly on the request. There were pockets of protest in Benin, the Edo state capital. The first was protest by some activists tagged National Day of Action against insecurity and mass poverty in Nigeria. The activists were at the Secretariat of the Nigeria Union of Journalists Edo State Council to lay their complaint and, and bring to the fore the degenerating security situation in the country. The group are calling on the state and federal governments to end the arbitrary sack of workers, the need for each community is to create community defense to boost security, implement minimum wage amongst others. Former Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Osage Obayuana and rights activist Kola Edokbayi speaks more. I found that there are linkages between the pervasive nature of poverty in our country today with the pervasive nature of insecurity in our country. Those who have impoverished the vast majority of Nigerians are those who are to be held responsible for this insecurity, whereby right now people cannot travel from one city to another in Nigeria. People cannot even go from their homes to their farms. The schools are not safe anymore. The point to be made is that we are not helpless. There's an attempt to, to give the impression that, oh, perhaps if they buy bigger guns and they hire more policemen, that will solve the problem. That will not solve the problem. We are concerned particularly about the anti-people policies that have been implemented all these years and are still in the works right now. If we are to take a cue, a cue as to what is happening in Kaduna, Herr Rufai, the governor of Kaduna, is saying in this time that there is such a thing as right sizing. He wants to unilaterally determine the number of our people that will work without giving any consideration so the terrible consequences that will befall the families whose breadwinner has been sacked unfairly. We are concerned that what the Kaduna State Governor is uh, thinking of doing is what all other governors may also be thinking of doing. After all, was it not the Governor's Forum that recommended that the fuel price should be increased to 380 Naira per litre? So all anti People policies at this time must go. Yes, uh, uh, you do not need to consult the oracle of the E and the cave to tell, to, to, to tell you that there is fire on the mountain in Nigeria. When there is fire on the mountain, you begin to run, 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 and run aimlessly. Nigeria today is suffocating in the iron grip of economic quagmire, political imbroglio and social stupor, simply because those we elected to pilot the affairs of this country and states have failed woefully in the discharge of their constitutional responsibility. There is high cost, there is high cost of living today in Nigeria. There is low standard of living. There is inflation in Nigeria. Minimum wage, minimum wage, minimum wages have not been paid by some state governors. They find it difficult to pay minimum wages.
The protest was later disrupted by some security agents and members of the public volunteer works in Ring Road. Meanwhile, the Nigeria Bar Association Benin branch has condemned the attack on the former Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice, Osage Obayuwana, by members of the Public Works Volunteer in Benin City. They, however, called on the state government to fish out and deal with the perpetrators of the act. Similarly, youths from Aduawa today protested the alleged murder of one Mrs. Lucy Nwanrie and Mr. Tony Bassi by some members of the Edo Vigilance Office. They earlier took their protest to the Edo State Police Command before proceeding to the Secretariat of the Nigerian Union of Journalists to seek attention and demand justice. The incident, they claim, occurred on the 20th of May 2021 around Efei Street off College Road at Aduawa. They are, however, accusing the police for allegedly abandoning the case. Son and daughter-in-law of the deceased and Emmanuel Agbogun, who led the protest, comments. Maybe you see my little child, two months, my child. My husband don't leave me come out. No, mama, no, papa, no, nothing. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I Come, my mama, I help, I beg. No, no help, I beg. No help, no way we help go from come except now. I beg, I beg. Um, the issue is so pathetic that we find it difficult to comprehend. Because my mother was not hostile, nor Tony. They were sitting at their own when this uh, dead devil, trigger lover, killed them. So we are begging the government to take up this issue and make sure those at large and even the one in the facility be brought to justice. Justice is all we need and justice is what we want. There is no amount of uh, soccer or palliative you are going to give to this family that will bring these lost souls. So we are begging them to do the needful because we are citizens of this state and this country at large. Thank you very much. The reason why we are gathered here today is that the vigilance is set up by those state government. Instead of them protecting our lives, they are not taking our lives. The most painful part of it is that on the 21st day of this month, on the 20th day of this month, sorry, this EA, as she's popularly known as, in our street, was sitting down, attending to our customers who were coming to buy some level of commodities from, from her as her business. Only for them to get to the woman's bar, where they have not been for the past 10 years, but since the government gave them gone, they decided to visit that area. They started shooting sporadically. To the best of our ability, EA today is no more. Tony Bassi today is no more. And the truth be said, the people that did these things are even enjoying government support. Why those of us who are citizens who voted for the government is not being made to suffer from the barrier of, of their guns? Please and please and please, and those state government should come to the rescue of this, of this family. As I speak to you, look at this woman, her first child on earth, just three months with her husband. Vigilante has taken the, 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 the breadwinner of, of the family away. And tomorrow they will say that they are fighting for us. Tomorrow they will say that they mean well for us. How can they mean well for us when things like this will happen? The, the vigilante organization, from their number one to the end, none of them have come to visit this family. But they kill them and they feel that not they are above the law because they are working for government. Thanks for watching the news on VOS TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at VOS TV News. Follow us across social media platforms and tweet at us at VOS TV. My name is Osasoge Aidei.